Now to the latest on the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. The death toll continues to rise. At least 83 confirmed dead across several states. Search and rescue operations are still underway looking for anyone trapped by floodwaters. Rena Roy reports from Fort Myers. A desperate search for survivors underway across southwest Florida. Come in your way, come in your way. Watch his foot. Already more than 1,600 people rescued. There's more sur urban search and rescue teams in Florida now than in any one place in American history since September 11th. This group of trauma nurses and retired military volunteering on hard hit Pine Island. Where do y'all think we're needed the most? I would say St. James. It's a calling, you know, it's not a job. So whenever a need arises, you know, you got to be there for your people. The full scope of devastation coming into focus for so many as the cleanup begins. The floors are, are ruined, the walls are down, the ceilings have all dropped down, the water level is above the roof. The whole thing is. This is everything we could sell, which is our lives. Hundreds of thousands of customers still without power. Right now, we uh, we have to go with the, the motion. There's no power, no, no no water. Officials in Lee County facing questions for issuing an evacuation order Tuesday instead of Monday, like some other nearby counties. At least 42 people were killed there, the highest death toll in the state. Authorities defending their decision. I stand 100% with my county commissioners, my county manager, we did what we had to do at the exact same time. I wouldn't have changed anything. And I know being in those meetings from the very minute, this storm was very unpredictable. And looking around here in Fort Myers, the devastation is just so widespread. It's clear that even after rebuilding, some of these areas will never be the same. Rena Roy, ABC News, Fort Myers, Florida.